Thanks for tuning in to The Solution Is You. I appreciate each one of you for taking time just to visit me right here on my channel. If you find value within my content, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. With that, let's go ahead and get into today's subject. Now, the topic of today is you have to improvise to get ahead. I just want to let everyone know because I know I've got a few more subscribers and I just like for everyone to understand the purpose of my channel. The goal of my channel is to help reach as many people as possible, to provide guidance, to provide insight into life's everyday struggles. It's always good when you can relate whatever you're going through with someone else that may be going through the same thing. And so I want to reach the average individual, the person who is going through a lot, they're working a, a job, have children or not, faced with a lot of issues and challenges and just trying to navigate through all of the obstacles. There are folks out there who have little to no issues, which are okay. And everyone is welcome to my channel as long as everything stays respectful. So the topic of today is improvise to get ahead. And so there are so many struggles out in the world today. Inflation is number one. The gas prices are so high. And the last thing you want to do is get behind on bills, in debt. And there are just some simple things that you can do in life that could change or put you ahead of the game when it comes to dealing with the obstacles of inflation and other issues. So number one is bills. Now, many of us from when we left our house with our parents, many of us are used to paying our bills as they come in. So you get a bill maybe before the 31st of the month for a bill that is due on the 15th of the next month. And so you wait about the 14th of the 15th of that upcoming month, and then you decide to pay the bill. Now, although that could be acceptable, if you are looking to outpace a situation like inflation and stay ahead, that won't work. I remember being, I believe it was in the, in the ninth grade. So a freshman in high school. And I remember I was going into the coach's classroom, which was actually the gym. And there was a big poster on the board that read, to be early is to be on time. To be on time is to be late. And to be late is to be sorry. Another person who kind of gave this same scenario was my father. He said, in life, you have to be at the very top of the ladder. So you want to be on the very top rung. That's what you want to shoot for. So that if you ever fall, that will place you somewhere above or towards the middle of the ladder. And you don't have as much to climb back up to the top. So in life, you never want to put yourself in a situation where you are running parallel to anything. So for bills, for the sake of this story. So if you find yourself just doing enough to get by, just doing enough to pay the bills on time, 
when something major happens, such as a major illness, or if you lose your job, then if you're running parallel by just paying the bills on time, then that could put you in a situation to where you fall behind and potentially in debt. So the thing you want to do is you want to work to get ahead. And so you do this by paying your bills ahead. So I want to ask how many of you now have consistently paid your bills ahead of time or have paid them months ahead of time? So this is something that I've been doing for a number of years and it works for me. So not necessarily all of your bills, but the bills that are pretty manageable or that are pretty reasonable in price, such as your phone bill, water bill, your electric bill, and internet bill. All of these can be managed and paid in advance and still put you in a situation where you're able to live a comfortable lifestyle. Now let's talk about essentials. So the necessities in life. So toilet paper, paper towels, bar soap, bottled water, laundry and dish detergent, all of these are things that are necessary from day to day. And these are items that will keep you going back and forth to the store and potentially wasting money and time. So let me mention again that this information is for the individuals that have a tough time Individuals that are struggling from day to day. These are individuals that are impacted from inflation, impacted from low hours on the job, impacted because they don't have a job, or individuals who are just trying to stack up as much money as possible by conserving and being smart with their time and their money. So let me break away and just talk about side hustles and business. So aside from a job, it's important to have some sort of a side hustle or a business because this not only allows you to be productive, but also allows you to make as much money as you can in as little time as possible through hard work. With a side hustle or a business, you can potentially make money around the clock, depending on the setup of your business. You're not capped. It's likely that your customer base is endless. There are many possibilities with the type of products that you sell or the type of customers that you sell to. There may be various ways of you getting paid. You might receive money orders, cash, some sort of an electronic payment. So the possibilities of getting money to do whatever you need to in order to make ends meet with that money are endless. And so when you have a side hustle and a business and Let's say you have a, a job that you're working. This puts you in prime position because now you are able to pool all of these resources and not only take the money and use it for whatever you want, but to use the money in a smart way to get ahead. And so when we talk about improvising to get ahead, which includes bills and essentials, there are a lot of people who have opportunities through bonus checks, income tax refunds, overtime revenue, 
but do not use this as leverage to get ahead. And a lot of reasons for this is because of tradition. As it relates to paying bills on time and not paying them ahead. is because we've been trained why spend more money than what you have to. So then that means that we have to reprogram our minds. So psychology plays a huge factor in the way we think and the way that we handle our money and therefore determining our preparedness level in case of a job loss or major illness. Now, if you find that you are not able to get ahead for whatever reason, you cannot pay your bills in advance, you're saying to yourself, how can I buy these essentials ahead of time in order to build a surplus? Then that means you need to increase your income. You have to find a way to get more OT. You have to find a way to start a side hustle or a business. That's the only option. And there are at least three benefits that I've identified from creating a surplus for yourself by getting ahead. Number one, you decrease your stress level. And this is because the more items that you have paid in advance, the more that you can relax. Number two, you can apply focus to whatever it is that you want to get done. So if there's a side hustle that you want to start, you can rest assured that you can put all your focus in getting that side hustle or business started because you have less issues to worry about in terms of payments. Number three, you're building credibility. So with whatever creditor or person that you're leasing from or that you're paying a bill to because you have created a history of paying ahead of schedule, if some sort of a disagreement should come about in regards to your payment or if you are missing a check or for some reason there was a major illness that interfered with your income, well, you've already created credibility with the person you're making the payment to because you already have a history of paying ahead. And there are so many other benefits to getting ahead and creating a surplus for yourself. And when you make payments ahead of schedule, you can continue to put money on the bills that you've already paid. There's nothing wrong with having a surplus. That just keeps you far ahead. So this is a way of paying yourself first somewhat. So you have to trick your mind into good habits and doing things that are different from the way you've d done them in the past in order to create a trail for yourself to success. I thank you for listening to me today. Please understand that the solution is you. With that, have a great day.